Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to work through some Pitocin related dosage calculation questions. So these are medication calculation questions that will occur specifically in your maternal child course or if you go on to be a labor and delivery nurse. So let's get into them. First off, we have Pitocin. We want to begin our Pitocin infusion at 5 milliunits per minute via an IV pump for labor induction. On hand is Pitocin 40 units in 1,000 ml of lactated ringers. So how many ml per hour will the IV run? So that's what we're looking for in our answer is ml per hour. In order to get to that, we have to do a couple of steps. First of all, where do we already have mLs? Right here. So we'll put that in our numerator. 1,000 mLs is the equivalent of 40 units for our problem. The next thing we need to do is get a converting factor. Because we don't have units anywhere else, we have milliunits. So what is the conversion? One unit is 1,000 milliunits. Then we can add this. So five milliunits over one minute. And then the last thing we need to do is convert minutes to hours because we're looking for hours. So there's two conversions in this. So 60 minutes is one hour. So let's break it down. Units will cancel. Milliunits will cancel. Minutes will cancel. That will leave us with mLs as the only thing in our numerator, which is what we want in our answer. And then in our denominator, hours is the only thing we have. So mLs per hour. Then we have to do the math. So you have to multiply 1,000 times 5 times 60, and then divide that by 40 times 1,000 times 1. And what you should get is 7.5, but typically what we would do is round it to 8. So 8 mLs an hour. That's how we should set the pump. This next one, the nurse notes the patient's pump is set at 10 mLs per hour. The IV bag holds 30 units of Pitocin mixed in 500 mL of lactated ringers. How many milliunits per minute is the patient receiving? So that's what we're looking for. So we're going to put it here. And now we need to figure this out. So first things first, where do we see milliunits in the problem? We don't. So we know we're going to need to use the converting factor. So that's what we'll start with. So 1,000 milliunits is one unit. Now we can start plugging things in from the actual problem. So we know there are 30 units in 500 mLs. So 30 units over 500 mLs. What else do we know? We know there's 10 mLs per hour. So 10 mLs over one hour. And then the last thing we need to do is we're looking for minutes. So we need to convert hours to minutes. So we know one hour is 60 minutes. Setting it up is the key. If you can figure out how to set it up so everything can cross off, you'll be able to do these problems easily. So let's start crossing some stuff off. So unit, mLs, and then hours. That will leave us with milliunits in our numerator and minutes in our denominator. That's exactly what we want. Now we have to do a little bit of math. So 1,000 times 30 times 10 divided by 500 times 60. So when you do that, you should get 10. So how many milliunits per minute is the patient receiving? They are receiving 10 per minute. Let's do another one. 
Before we talk about this next one, I wanted to point out some of these numbers are going to start sounding really familiar. That's because they're pretty standard dosages. So 40 in 1,000 and 30 units in 500 ml bag, that's pretty common. Um, usually these are pre-mixed by pharmacy and sent up to you. And then also another important fact about this is they will always be mixed in lactated ringers. So in all of our problems, we're doing lactated ringers. So just a couple of things I wanted to point out. Now let's do the problem. So our order says begin infusion at 6 milliunits per minute. On hand we have 30 units of Pitocin mixed in a 500 ml LR bag. How will you set the pump? So what are we looking for? We're looking for mLs per hour. It didn't actually say that to us, right? It says how will you set the pump? So we need to know that when we set a pump, we're setting it in mLs per hour. So it's asking for mLs per hour. So that's what we're going to put in our answer. So let's set it up. So we need mLs in our numerator. Where is that? Right here. So 500 mLs is the same as 30 units. What else do we know? We know we have 6 milliunits per minute, so we need a converting factor. So 1 unit is 1,000 milliunits. And then we can do our 6 milliunits per 1 minute. And the last thing, we want to have hours, so we need to convert hours in minutes. So 60 minutes in 1 hour. Now we can start canceling stuff. So units will cancel, milliunits will cancel, minutes will cancel. That will leave us with our ml in our numerator, hours in our denominator. You're going to multiply 500 times 1 times 6 times 60, and then divide that by 30 times 1,000 times 1. And what you'll get? 6. So 6 mLs per hour. Okay, last one. We have an order. It says begin Pitocin infusion at 3 milliunits per minute. You have on hand Pitocin 30 units in 500 mLs lactated ringers. How do we set the pump? So how many mLs per hour? So that's what's going in our answer. So where do we have this information? 500 mLs in 30 units. We need our converting factor again. So 1 unit is 1,000 milliunits. And how many do we have? We have 3 per 1 minute. And then our last factor, we need to get to hours. So 60 minutes in 1 hour. So then we'll cross off our units, cross off our MUs, cross off our minutes. We'll get MLs on the top, hours on the bottom. We have to multiply and divide. So 500 times 1 times 3 times 60. And then divide that by 30 times 1,000 times 1. And we get... 3. 3 mLs per hour. So that was my video on calculating Pitocin infusion. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.